Hello again, this is Andy, KE4GKP, and welcome back to the Ham Whisper and Lesson 30 in the Technician Operator Element 2 exam course. In this lesson, we cover the T8D section of questions from the exam pool, which goes over non-voice communications. The T8D section of questions deals with image data, digital modes, CW, packet, and PSK31. All right, first question. Which of the following is an example of a digital communications method? Well, the best way to answer this question is to take some time and look over the various digital communication modes popular in amateur radio. The possible answers in the exam include packet, PSK31, and MFSK, which are all digital modes. So this is one of those all of the above type questions, but uh, it's good to take some time, familiarize yourself with some of the various digital modes, and uh, that'll help with this question and this section. What does the term APRS mean? Well, APRS stands for Automatic Position Reporting System, or APRS. And what it basically boils down to is that you have a transmitter that transmits its GPS coordinates like a beacon, and there's a global network that these APRS stations can link into that plots these positions on a map. And it can be mobile or stationary, and they can be used to support weather information or used in emergency or public service communications. So APRS stands for Automatic Position Reporting System. Which of the following devices provides data to the transmitter when sending automatic position reports from a mobile amateur radio station? The answer is a global positioning system receiver. Now, the key word in this question is position, and the only answer that has anything to do with providing or having a position is a global positioning system receiver or GPS receiver. So these are becoming more and more common, and the first thing you need to do when transmitting your position is to find out where you are and a GPS receiver will do that. So which of those, which of the possible answers or devices provides data to the transmitter when sending automatic position reports from a mobile amateur radio station? It's a global positioning system receiver. What type of transmission is indicated by the term NTSC? Well the answer on the exam is an analog fast scan color TV signal which is a little bit obscure. Now to help you with this one, NTSC stands for National Television System Committee. And this is pretty much the analog TV standard for several countries, which include the U.S., Japan, and a few others. There is, on the exam, another answer, a possible answer to this question, that is associated with TV. And to get it, this one right, you need to remember that NTSC deals with analog standards by something else. So what you're looking for for NTSC on the exam is an analog fast scan color TV signal. Which of the following is an application of APRS, or Automatic Packet Reporting System? The answer is providing real-time tactical digital communications in conjunction with a map showing the locations of stations. Now one of the key factors behind APRS is that it'll transmit a, lo a radio's location. And this is the only possible answer that has anything to do with location. So if you associate APRS with you know, basically a map showing the location of the stations, you should be pretty good. So, which of the following is an application of APRS, or Automatic Packet Reporting System? It's providing real-time tactical digital communications in conjunction with a map showing the locations of the stations. What does the abbreviation PSK mean? Well, PSK stands for Phase Shift Keying, which happens to be the correct answer on the exam. And it's one of those things you've got to memorize, unless you're really familiar with PSK and already know it. Um, PSK, one of the more common modes of operating is PSK31, which is a fun data mo mode and an easy one to get started in. It doesn't take up much bandwidth, it can transmit very long distances with very little power, and is cheap to get set up. So PSK equals phase shift keying. What is PSK31? Well, here we go again. PSK31, the answer you're looking for in the exam, is a low rate data transmission mode. So if you can remember that this is a data mode, you have a 50-50 chance of getting it right in the exam because there's only two data mode possible answers. Now if you can associate PSK31 with low rate, which means you just can't transmit a lot of information on it, um, you just have a, a, it's a, it's a, low, it's a low rate, you'll get, you'll get the uh, answer right. So PSK31 is a low rate data transmission mode. Which of the following may be included in packet transmissions? Well, there's a lot of things that can be included in packet transmissions, and packet radio is a very, very popular form of data communication. It can be something similar to what we use today. It can be used similar to the way we use email on, on the computer over the internet. But it's, it's radio and it's a little bit different. But anyway, 
it, some of the things you can include in a packet transmission is a checksum, which permits error detection. You can include a header, which contains the call sign of the station to which the information is being sent, and you can include an automatic request in case of error. In fact, I could you probably say that you can include all of the above in a packet transmission. Now, if you haven't done so already, you should probably familiarize yourself with packet radio. It's very, very interesting and a lot of fun, and is capable of a lot of things. So, all these things here can be included in a packet transmission. What code is used when sending CW in the amateur bands? Well, if you don't know this by now, you should. It's International Morse Code. And if you have the time, you really should take th that time and, and learn Morse code. Uh, there's still a lot of communication that goes on via Morse code. It's still the most reliable communication mode, and you can get all around the world with a very simple antenna and a cheap low power transmitter. So CW in the amateur bands uses International Morse code. Which of the following can be used to transmit CW in the amateur bands? Well, it used to be that all you had was a, a telegraph key, and that, that's what you used to send CW on, that, but that's pretty archaic. Nowadays, you have straight keys, electronic keys, and computers can all send Morse code. So technically, you really don't have to know Morse code to send it, because you can just get a computer program to do it for you. Um, all these forms are capable of sending Morse code, and by coincidence, they are all possible answers on the exam. So this is another all of the above question. What is an ARQ transmission system? It's a digital scheme whereby the receiving station detects errors and sends a request to the sending station to retransmit the information. So ARQ stands for Automatic Repeat Query and sometimes referred to as Automatic Repeat Request with the Q and Request being the, the Q. But Automatic Repeat Query. And in digital communications, what this does is it automatically detects errors in a digital communication and then automatically sends a request to retransmit the data. So ARQ is used to detect errors. And if you can remember that, you'll get the answer right. So what is an ARQ or automatic repeat query transmission system? It's a digital scheme whereby the receiving station detects errors and sends a request to the sending station to retransmit the information. And now it's time for the T8D quiz. So number your paper from 1 to 11. When you're done, be sure to stop by Ham Whisper and check your answers. So if you need more time during the quiz, just pause the video, take all the time you need. And with that, let's get started with the quiz. Question 1. Which of the following is an example of a digital communications method? A. Packet. B. PSK31. C. MFSK. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Question 2. What does the term APRS mean? A. Automatic Position Reporting System B. Associated Public Radio Station C. Auto Planning Radio Setup or D. Advanced Polar Radio System Question 3. Which of the following devices provides data to the transmitter when sending automatic position reports from a mobile amateur radio station? A. The Vehicle Speedometer B. A WWV Receiver C. A Connection to a Broadcast FM Subcarrier Receiver or D, a global positioning system receiver. Question 4. What type of transmission is indicated by the term NTSC? A, a normal transmission mode in static circuit. B, a special mode for earth station uplink. C, an analog fast scan colored TV signal. Or D, a frame compression scheme for TV signals. Question 5. Which of the following is an application of APRS, or Automatic Packet Reporting System? A. Providing real-time tactical digital communications in conjunction with a map showing the locations of stations. B. Showing automatically the number of packets transmitted via PACTOR during a specific time interval. C. Providing voice over internet con connection between repeaters. Or D. Providing information on the number of stations signed into a repeater. Question 6. What does the abbreviation PSK mean? A. Pulse shift keying B. Phase shift keying C. Packet short keying or D. Phased slide keying Question 7. What is PSK31? A. A high rate data transmission mode B. A method of reducing noise interference to FM signals C. A method of compressing digital television signal or D. A low rate data transmission mode Question 8. 
Which of the following may be included in packet transmissions? A, a checksum which permits error detection. B, a header which contains the call sign of the station to which the information is being sent. C, automatic repeat request in case of error. Or D, all of these choices are correct. Question nine, which code is used when sending CW in the amateur bands? A, about it, B, hamming, C, international morse, or D, gray. Question 10. Which of the following can be used to transmit CW in the amateur bands? A. Straight key. B. Electronic keyer. C. Computer keyboard. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Question 11. What is an ARQ transmission system? A. A special transmission format limited to video signals. B. A system used to encrypt command signals to an amateur radio satellite. C. A digital scheme whereby the receiving station detects errors and sends a request to the sending station to retransmit the information. Or D. A method of compressing the data in a message so more information can be sent in a shorter time. And that is the end of the T8D section and Lesson 30. Um, now that you know the quiz, please stop by handwhisperer.com check your answers. And until Lesson 31, this is Andy, KE4GKP, saying 73, and I hope to hear you on the air soon.